Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the latest updates about the Indian Navy's INS Talwar and its recent upgrade with the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles. This development marks a significant enhancement in India's naval capabilities, so let's break down what this means. First, let's talk about the INS Talwar. The INS Talwar is a part of the Talwar class frigates, which are a series of guided missile frigates designed and built in Russia for the Indian Navy. The ship was commissioned in 2003 and has since played a crucial role in the Indian Navy's operations. It has been involved in various missions, including anti-piracy operations, escorting merchant ships, and participating in international naval exercises. The INS Talwar is known for its versatility and effectiveness in both offensive and defensive roles, making it a key asset in the Indian Navy's fleet. Recently, the INS Talwar has been upgraded to carry BrahMos missiles, one of the fastest and most advanced cruise missiles in the world. The BrahMos missile, a joint project between India and Russia, can travel at speeds of up to Mach 3, which is three times the speed of sound. It has a range of about 300 kilometers, which has been extended in recent versions to up to 900 kilometers. The BrahMos is known for its high precision and versatility, capable of being launched from ships, submarines, aircraft, and land-based platforms. This missile can strike enemy ships and ground targets with pinpoint accuracy, significantly enhancing the offensive capabilities of the INS Talwar. The technical specifications of the BrahMos missile are impressive. It has a speed of 2.8 to 3 Mach, a range of 300 to 900 kilometers depending on the version, and can carry a conventional warhead weighing up to 300 kilograms. The missile uses a two-stage propulsion system, with the first stage being a solid propellant booster and the second stage a liquid ramjet. This combination allows the missile to achieve high speeds and long ranges while maintaining accuracy. The INS Talwar itself is a highly capable warship. It has a displacement of about 4,000 tons, a length of 125 meters, and a beam of 15.2 meters. The ship is powered by a combination of gas turbine and diesel engines, giving it a top speed of 30 knots. It is equipped with various sensors and weapon systems, including anti-aircraft missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes, and now, the BrahMos cruise missiles. The ship also has a flight deck and hangar for operating a helicopter, further enhancing its operational capabilities. The recent acquisition of 200 BrahMos missiles, approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security for Rs 19,000 crore, is a testament to India's commitment to strengthening its defense capabilities. This deal will see the installation of these missiles on various Indian Navy warships, significantly boosting their firepower and operational readiness. Potential missions for the INS Talwar equipped with BrahMos missiles include regional security operations, safeguarding India's maritime interests, and participating in joint exercises with allied navies. The ship can also be used for humanitarian missions, disaster relief, and evacuation operations in case of emergencies. By patrolling the Indian Ocean and its strategic choke points, the INS Talwar will help maintain peace and stability in the region. This development sends a clear message to neighboring countries like Pakistan and China. By equipping its naval forces with such advanced weaponry, India is showcasing its capability to defend its maritime borders and assert its dominance in the region. The BrahMos missile, with its extended range and high precision, serves as a strong deterrent against potential threats from these countries. By equipping the INS Talwar with BrahMos missiles, India is taking a major step towards enhancing its maritime security and deterrence capabilities. This move not only showcases India's growing technological prowess but also reinforces its position as a major player in the regional defense landscape. That's all for today's update. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more updates on defense news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.